Hey folks, it's here. The first front of the season making its way through the valley this afternoon. Step outside and you can tell doesn't take a whole lot. Rained hard in the lower valley, two to four inches of rain east of I-69 E, but all of that has continued pushing southward now down into Mexico, but the front clear on the radar pushing through and now what's left just a lot of clouds around the area. Future Trek says the clouds stick around even though the rain for the most part goes away. Could be some more of that light stuff overnight tonight, but nothing more than that. But it's just enough if you're sitting in a football game drizzles for a few minutes to make it less than comfortable with temperatures staying mainly in the 60s, perhaps even upper 50s. One o'clock in the morning, still a few showers around as we get to first thing tomorrow by 10 a.m. Still a lot of clouds could still be at least in a couple of spots some drizzle. And then by the time we get to the afternoon, any rain that's out there should be gone. Certainly by six o'clock skies might even brighten a little bit, but it's still a mainly cloudy day with temperatures staying likely in the 60s all day long. Go forward to Sunday and by then the wind already turns back around to the south east and it starts to warm things up get sunshine back in here and our rain chances fade away mainly we're going 30 percent early tomorrow spotty stuff on sunday and then monday should be mainly dry now let's look at temperatures down to 65 in edinburgh just fell to 67 here in westlaco numbers falling as we speak 70 in rio grande city 74 brazil 72 in port isabel everybody will fall into the 60s and continue going down tonight by tomorrow morning, we're going to end up in the upper 50s. Wind gusts right now, look at this, 24 miles per hour in Rio, 35 in McAllen, gust to 38 out of the north in Port Isabel, so a very windy evening for the next two or three hours. Then the wind should diminish a little bit, but it'll be windy for a while yet. Again, low temperatures tonight, mainly in the 50s, except at the beach, about 65 there. So with that north wind, temperatures continue to cool off. And then tomorrow, probably the coolest day we've seen since March, with most of the valley staying in the 60s tomorrow. A little bit warmer, South Padre Island and Brownsville. North winds all day at about 10 to 20. The normal high for this time of year, the 30-year average is 88. We're going to be 20 degrees below normal tomorrow. That's a big deal. That's a strong front. Sunday, we're back close to normal, and by Monday, we're back above normal again. This is one quick shot of cool air, and then we have to wait and see when the next one comes in. Satellite and radar together show the clouds lingering behind this front, and they will. They're here across not just us, but all the way up to Austin, Corpus Christi, San Antonio, all seeing clouds. Temperature-wise, it's cool. 55 in Austin, 54 San Antonio. Dallas saw a little sunshine, so there's 62. Houston front went through there this afternoon at 64. So the front settles down to the south. Clouds stick around tomorrow pretty much all day long. Sunday, the clouds may break. Front turns around, comes back to the north. We see a little bit of sunshine. Monday, enough moisture around. It's a mainly dry day. Can't rule out an isolated shower. Another front shows up on the map middle of next week. We could see a front uh, late in the week that may stall. Won't be like this one at all. This was a strong one. Tomorrow morning, if you're traveling, 52 in San Antonio, 42 in Dallas, 53 in Houston to start the day by afternoon. Most of the state back into the 60s. So for us for tonight, your first 25 accurate weather forecast, windy and chilly with a little bit of light rain around. It won't be raining all night, but there'll be patchy light rain. Lows in the 50s for the first time in a while. Tomorrow, an average high of 68 degrees, a little warmer near the coast, but st certainly a much cooler day than we've seen in a long time. So here's your first one five accurate with the forecast for the next seven days. After tomorrow's cool day, an early shower, still a spotty shower on Sunday. We're back to 83. Next week, it looks like we spend most of the week in the 90s, even with the front in the neighborhood, middle of the week, could trigger a couple storms. Not much cooler, courtesy of that front. The one today, biggest one in a while, and probably the biggest one we'll see for next week or two. That's your updated first one five accurate with the forecast.